So this is Oswensum Auschwitz. Well, good night. Yeah. Horrible. And behind it you can see all the barracks. And there, just behind there, where the trees are, there's a river. Hmm. So here are the former SS barracks. And behind it as well. There's some railway lines leading to the SS barracks. Apparently it's closed. So I think this looks like a nice place to crash. Uh, tonight. So if I look at these things here around, it must have been barbed wire as part of the of the camp. I hope there are no landmines if I put my my pegs in the ground. Uh, that will be definitely good for tonight. You know, well inside the camp. So that's inside here. There won't be any landmines inside. Oh, oh yeah. there's some more camp. Hello, anybody there? I'm a Nazi hunter. So here's some old railway trek. I wonder what this is, swimming pool? <laughs> what is this? No. People living there? No. No. Auschwitz. Security guy. Ah, here's the ticket corner, the buses, and this is the end of the line. You know, I have to leave my luggage here. I oh, forget it. I'm not. Oh. Okay. So this is the Auschwitz thing. The whole thing. You see that here. It's the same bloody thing here. You know. Do this, do that, you know, nothing really changes, no liberty. You know. So just like back in those days, you know, I would say, well, you know, you know, do just, you know, I don't care, you know. Just find myself a hole in here. If I could just get through here, I'd be inside. This is the sort of thing I was looking for. I'll have a look if I can get in. Uh, oh, that's security. Bloody Robocop. Look at her. I almost made it over the fence here. A bloody Robocop coming up here. Oh, forget it. Oh, it's raining too. Yeah, just made it over the fence here. So if anybody ever makes it to Auschwitz, you can just push the fence here, you know. And uh, it's a good thing it started raining, so Robocop is sipping his coffee. That looks like a, uh, a chimney. Ooh, yeah. 
So I made a system with my uh, umbrella here. I'll show it to you one day when it's... I put a, rubber, a, a elastic band over my neck and one sweat band over my forehead. And I stick the umbrella in it so my camera doesn't get wet. So, you know, I don't have to keep it. I just want to get on the other side. How do I get there? A creepy place here. Huh? So I'm on the inside. There's the river. That was the fence I was before. <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't know what this is, sort of a hole here. Let's see how I can get back to the other side where the tourists are. Oh, that's what I call a double fence. Okay. Tower number eight. Oh, man. A triple fence. One, two, and that one there. Never get out of here. I hope there's no electricity on there. Shit, man. Oh, can get out there. I think I'll try it there. Please, I've got some magnificent shots here. Uh, for free. <laughs> these are these typical lamps here. Uh, what a creepy place, eh? What a damn creepy place. So it's even got... Every fence is, is double here, you know, double barbed wire. So you never get out here. Really, huh? You never make it. Hey, hey, hey. I'm an illegal in Auschwitz. I'm completely illegal. Who bloody cares? There he is, he doesn't look happy. Hello. Hello. How are you? What? Wow, that's a crazy thing, yeah, eh? Yeah, yeah. Nice. You, you, you must go with me. Yes. Okay. okay. You see, this is octagon. Octagon. And there's a triangle from the museum. So this is Templar stuff, you know, they still have the power here. And this is great little thing here. Having. <sighs> Even the police came, you know. So. It took a whole time, took about an hour. Now I'm standing here. Oh. So here's the river. And the concentration camp is just here. Well, that's the tower actually. That's one of the towers. There. And, uh, oh. A lot of people must have been dreaming, you know, to swim over this and get away. Most of them probably never saw it, never knew there was a river. Freedom! death so near looks like echinus echinus sea a powerful plant oh, growing next to Auschwitz So here I'm camping, and there it is, Auschwitz Birkenau. It's hard filming because it's raining. Oh, man, it's, it's huge here. And it's very vague. So I'm a bit I'm a bit afraid of those Auschwitz camp guards here, the octagon guards who arrested me yesterday. You know, they I mean, it's still the same. You know, 
First they kill all the people and now they've got a business and just turn on another uniform. Nothing has changed really. Well, that's for sure. And uh, well, they just do what they want. Funny thing is, I'm the only one who tries to do something and analyze it all, you know. It was really, uh, you know, I'm really upset about all this because it might happen again. Well, the Swiss are working on it. And I'm the only one who cannot go inside. I mean, the rest I, I've seen, you know, just a, a lot of school buses, you know. And the kids don't really care. They just want to have fun and, well, they have to go. And uh, most of them Germans. Uh, who did it, you know? Well, the Swiss are more uh, responsible for it, but the Germans did it. And now, now there's full busloads full of German kids. And um, it's, it's a strange atmosphere, you know? It's a lot of people who don't really care are in, going inside, and you know, I'm. I try to do something and I'm, I'm treated like a criminal, I'm standing here in the rain. Uh, I mean, everywhere there's security, you know, and police and everything is forbidden. <laughs> it's getting worse, we, we're going back to these times here, oh, that's for sure. And uh, I wanted to do a lot of other things, you know, to distribute cards and, and talk to people. Well, I can't really do it, I got all those security guards, you know, crawling over me. And they say they are afraid of Nazis or, you know, try to damage things and I don't even believe them. They just want to have more cops. You know. So if you distribute cards, you know, they, they immediately say, well, you are... Um, uh, what's the word? Um, uh, this, it's an offence to Auschwitz, you know? You only have to see it how, as it is, don't talk about it, don't think about it, you know? Just um, digest the way we, we serve it to you. And if you talk otherwise, you know, as I'm saying, the Swiss are behind it, all of a sudden they say, well, you, I don't know, you, you, it's an offence, you are... See what I mean? It's a strange world, eh? Creepy thing, you know. Well, it's not as creepy to sleep here as... Look, there's all guards there. It wasn't as creepy sleeping here as uh, in Sissy's palace, that was really creepy. The energy, you know. Or maybe because that's the hexagon. That's huge. This is Auschwitz Birkenau. This is where the trains got in here. And this is where I am. Oh, you can see my tent. That's where I am. My LUP. Nobody sees it.
See police driving around here. I don't like it. I'm, I'm off. Yeah. What are they doing? Huh? So if they're hanging here, and uh, so all the people coming from the train, they can see this. Yeah. The Israeli flag. The Swiss, he did it. Uh, mastermind. So these are the wagons, the uh, the ramp where the people came into uh, from all over Europe. Hmm. So. We've been carefully watched here. So, two cameras. And the camp is like there. And it's, a, it's a typical concentration camp lamps. You can see the camp is there. The end of the line, made in Switzerland. Gonna leave that there, Swiss. See a lot of people gonna see this, yeah. What you did. The end of the line. So this is the ramp where the uh, the first ramp until somewhere half 1944 I think where the selection process uh, took place by the idea of Dr. Ernst Rudin from Switzerland you go left you go right uh, the end of the line